everyone. Welcome back to Studio Lou. It's Cindy. So today I have um, a walkthrough of a traveler's notebook for you. Um, this one is, I'm just calling it the grandfather clock um, notebook. So these I'm kind of calling like my odd socks traveler's notebooks because they don't have a specific theme in mind. I've just used a lot of fun things that I've made and um, put together this little traveler's notebook. So um, these notebooks are tied closed. They have an eyelet punched in the in the front cover. The covers are collaged um, and stitched around with um, all sorts of fun papers. Um, this one has this little squirrel on the back and some um, all sorts of just different things. I'll just show you there. And then the front has a pocket. This is from, this is all different text and stuff. I made this pocket from um, a collage. And this is actually from a vintage textile um, curtains from the 70s. They're like children's curtains and they have all these different fairy tales depicted in these amazing colors and so yeah I really like them. So the front pocket um this one is just a collage with a couple of birds and some paint and stitching and it just pops in the front and then we'll just move this aside. This is just um vintage seam binding that I've used to close these. And then you open up and we have a little pocket here with these little black and white bunnies on this kind of yellowy lined paper. And then inside the pocket, there's this tag. Um, it says sunlight is made up of colors back and forth over the sky. And it's been collaged from book pages and has this fun mushroom head um, girl on the front. So that just tucks in there. And then this side we have ledger paper with a pocket that's been made from, um, a, this is a vintage image from like an 70s um, hairstyling book, the kind of book that you would see when you go into a salon and they allow you to kind of look through different styles that you could choose to um, have your hair cut as. And then inside is a tag here. Um, it's just a collage tag uh, with this beautiful image on the front. Um, this is um, um, Greenaway, Kate Greenaway illustration. And then some nice um, trim up top, coffee dyed paper on the back. And then another Kate Greenaway um, image and a cluster of papers on this ledger. This is a Richard Scary book page with a little fabric cluster at the bottom. And this side is more of that fun Richard Scary paper. These journals are made from all different papers. Some have, um, some are more busy than others. Like some are clearly easy to write on. Others, you know, you can write here or you might want to stick photos um, from wherever you decide to take this notebook with you, however you decide to use it. I know I'm using traveler's journals this year for a couple of camping trips that I'm taking. I've made a journal for each one. Um, so then we have a little... Um, uh, fabric collage down here with some vintage buttons and on this side we have um, this is a tuck that's been made from a vintage um, sewing book and this is avocado dyed paper you can see a button there and some nice paper in the background this is just a journal card that's been made from a vintage textile image and it tucks right on in here and um, this is a landscape drawing some washi there and on this side, it's a pocket and we have this, um, this is from a vintage bird guide, the bird of marshes and foresters. Just a little tuck in. Maybe you're going to go on a bird watching trip. This would be a fun thing to bring along. There's lots of space for you to tuck and add more things into this journal. I did put some ephemera in it, um, but not a ton and not something you can't swap out if you want. <clears throat> And then on this page, which is cabbage dyed, there's a paper clip holding um, an authentic vintage CB radio um, calling card. So for those of you who are maybe a little bit older, you're familiar with um, CB radio or like shortwave or ham radio where people would all have like nicknames and you could talk on public channels. So people who are really into this, they would create these cards with like the channels that you could talk to them on and where to reach them and that sort of thing. So these are very old. They're from like the seventies. <clears throat> and um, this is just a tea dyed um, scrapbook paper. 
This is Ledger and it has um, a little fabric Surrey silk um, crochet cotton collage at the bottom. And then this is just, um, it's a watercolor image of some lily pads. And then up top here, this is actually a pocket. So you could, um, I'll show you, you could pop things right on in here and it's a, it's a closed pocket or an open pocket rather. <laughs> and then this is a collaged upper tuck pocket with some lace. And then um, there is this um, journaling card inside with some lace at the bottom. And this is from a vintage advertising book, Arrow Collars and Shirts um, for Dress. And so it is on some um, nice brown cardstock. And on the back, we've done some stenciling. This is indigo dyed paper with this nice crochet lace on top. And a coloring book page with some botanicals. This is a gardener's glossary page from a vintage gardening book. Um, this is scrapbook paper. And on the back we have um, this art book page um, of, it's a plate by Camille Passaro of the app, or no, sorry, that is not the apple pickers. <laughs> sorry, this book, the way that it was designed, the, um, the plate information was on the opposite page. So this is sunflowers, obviously. Um, and yeah, the back talks about the apple pickers. <laughs> and there's a fabric tab on top. And then we have a pocket here that's collaged. And on the front of the pocket, there's this little, this is like, I, I found a bunch of these. They're actually from the 80s. Um, and they were like um, teaching aids. Like someone made their own kind of version of like a Monopoly game for a classroom. And so they're all these little stamped printed um, cards that are like money. And um, I have other ones that are like typewritten, like um, landscape kind of, or not landscape, but like um, geographical descriptions of places you could buy with your money and a vintage stamp and this is just a little um garden card a german garden card and it just pops in there and inside the pocket are a couple things so one is um this is a stamped and collaged tag journal for journaling on of a mushroom and a jar and then this is just um some scrapbook paper and a label just some some tim holtz paper that you can write on so those both just tuck right on in here. And this is garden glossary page and it's been stitched around to add this bright fabric pocket. And inside is this little journal card of like this little girl um, sort of like in front of the moon. This has been stitched around and has sparkling stickles with stars and sparkles all over it. And it's a journaling card. And then this is like a fun image of kids and little Miss Muffet in the middle here. And we have a tab up here with a couple of eyelets and a little bow. And then on this side, we have paper clipped on um, a large collage journaling tag made from children's book page um, images. And it says, come in dears, it's terribly nice. And it has these three little birds in this tall tree. And that's on top of some garden glossary paper. And on this side, um, if we take the clip off, actually, we have an outer tuck of that garden glossary paper. So there's more space there for you to journal or collage or glue down, whatever you like. And then this is um, a busy little page in that this pocket has all sorts of things going on. So in behind it, there is a, a tuck spot, a pocket, and it has this journaling card and um, a paint sample. And those just pop in there. And then we flip up this envelope. And inside here, there is um, a Rupi Kaur poem. And that just pops in there. And in here, this is a little fabric front pocket, a little picture of a bullfrog. And it's a journaling card. And this is scrapbook paper and then paper clipped onto this page of garden glossary. There's a button tab up here and this is um, a journal tag that says once upon a perfect night and it is made from book pages that are collaged with sort of like cool botanical like um, or not botanical sorry like cabinet of curiosity is kind of at the back and then some marionettes. Um, <clears throat> And then the back is um, inked paper for journaling. 
Then this is a tip out. So that just pops right on here. Oops, hold on. <laughs> there we go. Um, and then this is a coloring book page and indigo dyed paper um, with a nice uh, ribbon ruffle at the side with some lace and um, this is a little charm here on a bulb pin and then this is a vintage playing card on some brown paper and then this is um, a recipe page from a vintage recipe book and I love like the writing I love everything about this book so this is for porcupine meal balls and sweetbreads and look at the little image of the sweetbreads oh my gosh and we have a little sort of um tab that comes out it's just a piece of uh, scrap botanical stamp paper and then this is the other side of that lily pad pocket and we've attached a little uh, crochet and button on each side and that's a pocket as well and this is some vintage ledger and on the back we have a pocket made from a large uh, jumbo playing card and some fabric and uh, crochet lace at the bottom and then this is just a big journaling card um that's just basically a children's book page about the different um periods And then we have a fabric and button collage on the bottom of a tea dyed um, scrapbook paper and it tips out on this side and we have some washi tape here and here. This is a book page with some uh, landscape on the back. And then this is um, a pocket with this big tag. Um, this is uh, from a, like a vintage book about the body. Um, and so it's like a cool like medical anatomical drawing. And it's got some fabric kind of at the top and hanging down. And then we have um, a crochet lace pocket here. And this is on avocado dyed paper with this um, journal card inside from a children's book page. It's a really fun image. And this tips out on this side and we have some scrap paper and some stitching. And then um, this is a Richard Scary page with a tab at the top and it tips out. And um, oops, let me just grab this little scrap of paper that's hiding in there. And then this is clipped on to Vintage Ledger and it is um, a journaling tag with fabric at the top and it's made from children's book page with this cat and says, peering in the mouse hole, she had an awful scare. She spotted quite distinctly a monster mouse in there. Maybe that's why she's hiding in the bird cage. And then on this side, we have a little collage pocket, and inside is a tag just made from um, a numerical divider page. And on the back inside cover, we have this large pocket here, um, and it's collaged as well. And inside is um, this large journal card that's. Um, it's got lots going on. So it's covered in vintage sewing paper and it has a cutout of a big flower that's been outlined and some rose gold dots on top of a book page. So it's fun. So if you are seeing this video, um, these this journal will be up in my Etsy shop along with a couple of other um, travelers notebooks um, probably by the time you see this video. So um, all of my social media information is down below and thank you ever so much for joining me for this little preview of this journal. I had a lot of fun making these. Um, I've sort of had <laughs> these travelers notebooks in my system for a few days so it's nice to actually finish up a few and have some in the shop to offer. Um, so thanks again so much and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye for now.